We are hunting deer, so be very, very quiet. Come on, guys, let's go. <laughs> Hey, hey, YouTube, welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. I'm Arabin, but you knew that, didn't you? Hey, guys, today and tonight I'm going to be in Swansea, South Carolina. About 30 or 40 minutes from where I live. Going to camp out with some old friends, do some camping tonight, maybe some fishing. Uh, going to hunt when it gets a little bit closer to dark, and then we're going to hunt again in the morning. Uh, my buddy Steve over at uh, Reach Out and Touch One Outdoor Ministries uh, invited me to come here and camp and hunt this weekend. And hopefully I'll be able to harvest a deer for you on film. Film, video, you know what I mean. But let me show you around where we are. We are out in the country. See there's a uh, old red barn over there. The mobile home, some people live over there. And as you see those woods way in the back over there, behind all that, that barn and everything and that house. And uh, we got this field here. And uh, here's a, a little fire pit that we have. So we'll have a fire tonight that we can cook on or just enjoy. We do have a uh, I know the sun's probably blocking it out, so let me get closer. We do have a little cross here, and there's an altar or a, a bench, and uh, we'll probably have a Bible devotion tonight. And got another little field over there, just some uh, captured water, a little trash can, and. Uh, over here you'll see some of the antlers from deer that have been harvested on this property in the past or maybe just sheds that were found here quite a few of them going all the way across that's a nice one there on the top and then all the way down lots of deer have been taken here it looks like Looks like we got a little work area here with some rockers and there's a gas grill over there. If we wanted to grill something, I don't think we'll do that tonight. But apparently there's electricity out here too, which is cool. It's even got a light up there. And uh, yeah, then of course, gotta make sure you got the outhouse. And I have to tell you, this is one of the nicest outhouses that I've ever seen. Look here, it's rigged up. We got reading material, toilet paper, of course some spray. Got the uh, composting toilet there. Got you a mirror, another mirror over there, some paper towels, which is good. But anyway, I'm just waiting for the others to get here. And uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and set up my tent. It's about, it's only about 3.15. And I think we're going to start heading towards the woods around 430. Because it gets dark at 6 here now. So, uh, but I just thought I'd take you on a little tour of where we are. Stick around, got some more good stuff coming for you. Alright guys, you might need to turn the volume up because I'm in the tree stand now. It's uh, about 10 minutes until 5. It gets dark at 6. And uh, I'm sitting over a recently harvested peanut field and uh, we've got a couple of corn plots out but let me show you the view that I have Yeah. 
were just harvested within the last week. So hopefully some deer are going to come out here to, har to eat what's left of these peanuts that the crows didn't eat. So uh, anyway, I forgot to bring my tripod so I don't know. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to be able to get a shot on camera if I do see a deer uh, in the middle of the action, but I'll do the best I can. I'm just hoping to see something. It's my first hunt of the year, and I think I'm in a good, good spot here. Tomorrow morning, I'll remember to bring the tripod, maybe do some better camera work, but all right, so I'm going to shut up now and sit here and hunt. Stick around, guys. Well, all right guys, uh, I see my buddy's flashlight coming this way to get me out of the stand here. So uh, we're calling it a night, it's about 6.10. Uh, didn't see a deer, but I had a beautiful hour out here in God's country, just enjoying the sounds of nature, smelling the freshly plowed up peanuts but uh, we're gonna go back to camp now and uh, come back and give it another try in the morning uh, right now if a deer popped out I wouldn't know it was here so well maybe we'll have better luck tomorrow all right guys stay tuned good morning guys here we are Saturday morning I'm in a different tree stand today, getting a different angle. Here's a view of what I'm seeing from the tree stand. before sunlight and to my left down this little road I have a patch of corn set up and then dead ahead of me I have a shooting lane with some corn set up and then on the right of me I have some corn set up on a, the edge of a road and then there's a peanut field next to it. The same peanut field that I looked out over yesterday evening. Now I'm just on the opposite end of it. So this is about the time that they're gonna be active. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to harvest something for you. If not, sorry. But it's just great being out here. Alright, I'm gonna start focusing now, so stick around. Just saw a doe run right beside my stand into the heavy woods. I couldn't get a shot. I don't know if she's still hanging out there or not.
right side of my blind, only about 15 yards, all I heard were footprints. She ran into the deep woods in front of me, and by the time I got my gun over with the sight, she was gone. Plus, it's so thick there, I probably wouldn't have had a shot anyway. I'll show you the path she took. She literally ran right there, right across that little road into this section right here. And of course, as you can see, I can't get a shot from there. I was hoping she would go into that little corn pile right there. Or, I was hoping a buck would soon follow, but that's been about 15 minutes now, and no, no buck popped out, so, it was a pretty big doe, but it was just on the move until it hit the heavy woods, and I had no shot, that's the way it works sometimes, maybe luck will change. Stick around. Alright, it's about 8.45 in the morning now. Haven't seen anything since that huge doe earlier this morning at 7.25. Just heard a shot from the direction of where my two buddies are hunting. So maybe they got something. I'll find out in a few minutes here, I guess. Boy, I wish I could get one on camera for you guys. I don't need the camera running all the time because I don't want the battery to run out. But that doe that popped out 15 yards from behind my stand was huge. Well, alright guys, it is 10 o'clock. Been here for a little over 4 hours. My back is killing me, so... uh I think I'm going to call it a deer hunting morning. I'm gonna, when I get down from the stand, I'll show you the stand I was in and how close that doe ran up from behind me. So let me get down out of here safely and then I'll uh, show you kind of a lay of the land, so to speak. Was that you that shot? No, that was me shot. Uh, Back corner back there, and they were probably about 50 yards away from me, but back in the woods. That doe literally ran from here, right across here, right down there. She ran right from behind there. There's the stand, and she ran straight through there. And by the time I got the gun around, she was already here. You see that corn pile over there too? Yeah, I was watching it once in a while. Oh, okay. But that lane right there is what I was thinking was going to be perfect. Yeah. And that's where I was hoping that that doe was going to go. All right, back here at Truck Norris, packed up and uh, ready to hit the road. So, uh, but uh, this is just a beautiful area. I'm very fortunate to have a friend that allows us to hunt in a place like this. He has about six stands set up on all this acreage. And uh, my buddy that was hunting with me, Eric, he saw a doe, possibly the same doe that I saw, because he saw it sooner and he was further back and she was heading in the same direction. So. I think we both saw the same doe and neither one of us got a shot. That's how it works sometimes, but man, it's just great to be out here in God's beautiful creation. Uh, we're going to head back now and pack up camp. Uh, but I'm... All right, guys, I'm in Truck Norris, uh, just leaving the area that we hunted and heading back to pack up camp, put away the tent and all that stuff, clean up. I'm not going to video that because that would be boring for you. But I want to talk about some things that I learned on this trip. 
And I think it's very important that you're always learning. And uh, one thing I learned is always check the batteries in your headlamp before you go camping or hunting. And in addition to that, second thing I learned is always carry a backup flashlight, which I do. I always keep this little Coast G9 pocket flashlight in my front left pocket. Whenever I'm wearing pants, I've got this flashlight. And it's a good thing I did because I forgot that I had gone com camping a couple of weeks ago up in Traveler's Rest and I used that headlamp a lot. And uh, sure enough, last night the batteries went dead on me as I was walking from the tree stand back to the truck. But thank goodness I had that backup flashlight. So check your batteries in your headlamp. Always have a backup flashlight on you. Another thing I learned is four hours is my max capacity of sitting in a tree stand. Uh, four hours this morning, my back is killing me and I already have back problems, as you may know, but uh, just lessons learned. Got an opportunity to go uh, last night after the hunt. We stopped at a place here in Swansea called Countryside Barbecue. Had some good barbecue. Got to go back to camp, build a campfire, have some good fellowship with some old friends. Um, had a great devotional that Brother Steve shared with us from Corinthians, as well, a lot, as well as a lot of hunting stories. Just a good time out in God's country. And uh, I, I look forward to coming back again sometime. Um, like I say, I'm blessed to have a friend that has access to land like this, and he allows me to come hunt and I uh, hope to do some more of that this year. It's my goal to be able to harvest one on camera for you guys. But uh, that's just how it goes. Anyway, I appreciate you guys so much. Those of you who have subscribed to my channel, I really do. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? I'd love to have you. And, uh, Speaking of countryside barbecue, here it is. As you can see, it's just a little teeny tiny hole in the wall type of place. But as many of you are probably aware, sometimes those are the best restaurants, those little hole in the walls. All right, so I lied. I'm gonna show you the campsite before I pack it up. Of course, you recognize this tent. This tent has been awesome. It's the Coleman Sun Dome 2. I've done a video review on it. I've used it several times, and it is just a great tent. Uh, perfect. I have no no problems with this tent whatsoever. Coleman makes a good tent, and it's not expensive. Over here is where my buddies Eric and his father Wayne slept last night. And I think I already took you on a tour of the outhouse and the kitchen area. But just a beautiful piece of property out here in Swansea, South Carolina. Had a nice fire last night. As a matter of fact, looks like we need to pour some more water on it. I thought we had it all smoldered out this morning. I've got a couple of bottles of water I can douse that out with. And then, of course, there's my buddy, Truck Norris. So, all right. Well, if I haven't already said it, and I'm not sure if I have or not, till next time, Keep calm, carry on, keep it outdoors.